Many organizations' technical landscapes are evolving rapidly. For some, that means the adoption of different cloud infrastructure services, CI-CD platforms, and SaaS products. While these technologies promise to boost flexibility, speed, and efficiency, they can also result in a fragmented approach to security and the management of secrets. These distributed environments can increase the spread and risks of secret sprawl. In many cases, security teams have no visibility into how secrets are used or stored across their organization, or if the secrets have been leaked. Once organizations do discover how bad their secret sprawl is, they tend to struggle with how to create and implement effective remediation workflows to clean up the problem. Modern security practices do encourage organizations to closely audit code and require developers to manage high-value secrets using secret management vaults, rather than simply embedding them in the code. That lets applications access secrets in separate files that can be isolated from the application code. They should then be accessed only when needed during runtime and left out of code builds. However, there are several common challenges that make that hard for teams. First, there is a tension or lack of alignment between SecOps teams and developers. In large organizations, SecOps teams are responsible for setting policies developers are supposed to follow to ensure they operate in a secure manner. This is especially important because developers are the ones using secrets and code to connect across systems, and it's often platform teams that manage the systems that generate those secrets. This challenge is significant considering developers are typically judged on how quickly they can code new features. They operate according to agile principles. For the sake of expediency, secrets and sensitive data aren't always managed according to established rules and policies because following SecOps policies may not be fast or easy. The reason for this is because teams are often operating without the proper tools and processes to implement these policies. So doing things the secure way is not the easy way. Ultimately, secrets end up being mishandled and show up in unsecure locations where they can lead to risk of breach. In this video, I'm gonna talk through the process side of remediating these unsecure secrets when they are discovered and share five key tasks with you to build an effective remediation workflow. Before they choose the right tools, teams need a framework for their desired approach to secret discovery and remediation. The process can start with a manual or automated environment scan at regular intervals, depending on your situation. Discovery can be either reactive or proactive. An example of reactive discovery would be when the SecOps team scans an organization's environments for unsecured secrets and sensitive data. After scanning, they might find one or more critical or high severity events in the scan results. This could also be the initial scan of environment to discover just how bad the blast radius of unsecure secrets is so they can investigate, triage, and remediate any issues they find. When triaging this event, the SecOps team members typically see information such as the person who committed the secret, where it's located, and the severity of the issue potentially based on whether the secret is still active or not. Next, the event should be assigned to the appropriate owner such as the developer or repository owner for review and remediation. Alternatively or additionally, teams can set up automated targeted scans to happen at regular intervals or triggered by certain events. For proactive discovery, tools can be set to monitor and trigger automated scanning for secret introduction into version control repositories. When unsecure secrets are discovered, developer teams receive notifications from these scanning tools so they can prevent secrets and secure data from being introduced into unprotected locations. For example, for prevention, guardrail systems can stop version control merges or provisioning before an unsecured secret is introduced. Alerts can be set to trigger notification tools such as PagerDuty to immediately alert the team if a secret is introduced into an unprotected location. Scanning tools can also be configured to automate issue creation in tools such as JIRA to track, prioritize, and triage events. Once you've discovered secrets in unsecure locations, you need to implement appropriate remediation workflows. The main goals of a remediation workflow are rapid response and containment. 
Consistently applying best practices to remediation can reduce mean time to detection, mean time to remediate, and the number of incidents per month. When working to properly contain secrets and sensitive data, keep these five key tasks in mind. Assess. Before you take any action, you need to assess the impact of changing the secret. Revoke. Exposed secrets should be immediately revoked. The secret must be deactivated as quickly as possible. Then systems need to be put in place to monitor the status of the revoked secret. Rotate. A new secret must be quickly created and implemented. This task is best enabled by an automated process in your workflow for quick turnaround, low rate of implementation errors, and least privileged access. Delete. After being revoked, secrets must be removed from the exposed system, application code, logs, or other unprotected locations. Be aware that secrets in code could have a commit history, so avoid breaking links to other commits with history rewrites. Also, you need a process for removing secrets in logs while maintaining log integrity. Track. Lastly, incident response teams need access to information about the life cycle of a secret to aid in containment and remediation via log files, including who had access, when they used it, and the last rotation or update. Appropriate remediation is dependent on many factors, such as the type of secret, where it was found, the intended user, the criticality of the secret, and having context-specific guidance from your tools. A clear system of ownership for secrets remediation is key to a smooth workflow. Here's a general example of a secret remediation process for a developer team which includes some example tools. First, there's a clear system of ownership and coordination established up front. The owning developer receives timely notification of a secret discovered in their repo or environment, either automatically by tool integration or via a handover from the SecOps team after triage. The notification contains contextual data about the secret, such as severity, location, time of exposure, and other important details. The information can include the exact location of that secret, who introduced it, whether it's still active, and the length of time from when it was exposed to when it was discovered. Based on the details of the event, the developer receives customized steps for appropriately remediating the issue. In many cases, the remediation solution is to immediately revoke the exposed secret and then rotate and store the secret in an approved secure secret management system or vault. It's important to note that remediation is not one size fits all. So having all the details prior to remediation is critical. For example, revoking secrets without appropriate visibility can lead to broken systems and disruption of service. The team that uses a secret may not be the one that has access to the system that generates it. So coordination is required for successful remediation of unmanaged secrets. Hopefully this quick video provided some useful information and key steps you can take back to your organization and enable more secure and efficient workflows to help remediate those unsecure secrets.